Hey traders, it's Palmer from Bank to Trade. It is Wednesday, August 21st, 2019. Uh, it was a pretty good day today um, for me. And it was a great day in awesome calls. AJ had some awesome plays going on. If you want to check out the blog, somehow the previous plays worked, just go to awesomecallstrading.com. And you can usually type in just blog here and it'll take you to it. But if you search it, it's going to come up. It's a great way to study the plays and a great way to see what some of this room is about. So I trade part time. And if you have, depending on your time zone, if you're West Coast, that's even better. Um, but if you have an hour before the market opens and maybe 30 minutes to an hour after the bell, this can be done with this room with the knowledge you pick up in this room the the secret sauce that aj gives up and the insight to what really moves stocks the more time you spend in here the more doors are open for you and aj is he he's not a technical trader per se but he does look at chart support and resistance areas uh, watches volume but that's it. Price action volume, support and resistance on the charts. And the more you're in here, the more you can, trying to find the right word, not see how he trades, but you can learn what he's doing. And if you are a technical trader, which I am, and probably 99% of the other people out there are, you can still use AJ's plays per your technical entries. I use them. I use a few things to look for price points and target areas and entries as well. My go-to indicator is really volume and try to pinpoint those areas. Going to go over that with uh, Bazan today. I did a quick scalp there that was lightning fast. Um, but either way, you, you know, it's the, I, I can't say enough good things about this room and the people in this room and the traders in this room. You can see a lot of people, you know, they're 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 getting it. They're they're they see it happening, and they're learning by doing, and they're learning by studying. And it's you know it it doesn't happen in a day. It doesn't happen a week. It doesn't you know if you're new to the markets, it's sure as hell not going to happen in a month. And you put the time in, the dedication, you make it part of your lifestyle. You can do this. All right. Let's get to the trades. But before we get we get there, I don't have the trades up. Uh, this was a, an active day for me. I mean, four trades for me is a lot. Three trades is a lot. One or two trades is usually where I am for the day. All right. But for me to put in four trades... You know, I had the time and was able to focus in on a few things and made uh, after commissions probably about 540 bucks or something like that. But, uh, you know, part time trading, I'll take it. What did I say earlier? This is better than selling homemade toenail clippers on eBay. All right. Uh, on to place. And, you know, this one was. I was, I had, I think I was watching uh, Place Now and um, PDD on the open. I think I was talking to Solo about this. And I was, you know, I was focused in on those based on the news. And when I saw Place pushing like this out of the gate and it had such crap numbers and it was getting a lot of volume. That's where I put my focus because I knew at some point this stock was going to come down. Um, it was an earnings miss again, down 13 points. AJ, Janney, they, they took this long off the bottom in pre-market at 65 down here. Okay, so people are done. This is an hour and a half before the bell. Okay, and you could have been done. You had 10 points on this pre-market. All right just look at it all right 
AJ, okay, now AJ says we're looking for the setup again because that is a huge move off the bottom. All right, so any pop at the open off the 72 area to 75, lean into it short all day fader back down to 65 and under. If it pulls at the open hard to 72, look for another bounce, grind it from there. Okay, so I'm watching place and PDD, I believe, was. It was trying to break out a little bit. I don't think it broke out of the pre-market high because I'm looking at the chart right now. Uh, it was kind of, I'm not going to say it was grinding, but it already came down off the high. And for, I would like to have seen that pre-market high get broken and then come back down and test that area, then go long. Uh, but it was already up so much and it had good earnings. So anyway, uh, place. And I, I, I told I Solo this. I was, I, I was, there were two reasons why I went to this stock. One, because it was getting, you know, shorts were covering. It's going to go up. It's getting bought up into. So, okay, we've seen that before. Let that happen, then take it down. The other reason is because it was getting up, bought up so hard, so fast. Regard, I'm thinking, you know, regardless of the news, even this, if this was a long off the bottom, Okay, and it had gone from 72 to, you know, it had, gone up, it had gone up four points in about six minutes. Okay, so regardless of the news, it's, it's extended. So now we have two things. We have an earnings miss. Shorts are covering him to cover, getting bought up, and it's getting bought up so hard. Okay, I mean, if you just look at this part of the stock, bear with me. If you just saw this. Okay, looking at the price action from 72 to 76, that's a pretty big move. So regardless of the news, it's extended. So look for it to come down. All right, so I called this out of the room, said, hey, taking a short here, 200 shares, and it falls as fast as it went up. Two points in a couple of minutes. I'm out. I'm done because I have to be done at about 930. And... Uh, Alberto, my man, check out the volume in the top right here. Okay, you see it starting to fade off as this top is being put in. Okay, big clues happening up in here. All right, and this uh, this is not quite a pin bar. This move down right here, or if you put a candle up here, I believe it's going to be a gravestone doji where it was bought up. Bears come in, slam it back down. Okay, not a huge volume move right here on 28 or 30,000 shares, but it's up so high, regardless of the news, it's like a profit-taking setup. It's gone up so high, let's take some off the top. And so that's what got me in there. 200 shares because this stock had range. Okay, so if it wanted to continue to move up against me and say it was going to fill that entire gap up to, you know, 77 or 78, I'll be down two points, however, that's manageable, okay? For my account, that's manageable. Now, if you look, I don't have the average true range on here, but look at some of these price bars, 71, 78, you know, almost two bucks on the open. Next price bar, a buck 50 or so on the open. And in between that, 70, I'm just guessing right, a dollar right here. So this thing is going all over the place, and the spread was not the greatest either okay but this can sometimes this can hurt you sometimes this can help you but in this case it just fell as hard as it was going up for the rest of the day i believe it gave up a little more it gave up 77 68 it gave up another you know two points to the downside but i see my money i'm going to take it at some point, I'll be able to watch these a lot longer. But uh, 400 bucks in a couple of minutes, this could have been my day to be done with. All right. Next trade, Bazan. Um, if you could trade options pre-market, couldn't short this in thinkorswim. Um, but the the numbers with the earnings on this one and the way the chart was setting up a little bit longer term, uh, 10 points here on the downside. All right, so in any case, I had to miss this one, put it on hold. I keep forgetting about buying options at the open, but anyway, 
when the Fed was coming out with the minutes in here, I mentioned in the room that Bazan looks interesting down here because on the 10 minute, it was basing really well. Now, you know, volume patterns, I'm, I'm kind of a sniper, all right? And on the 10, let's, if I look at the 10 minute here, let's just go to the 10 minute and you see how it is basing here. Shows up a lot better on the 10 minute versus the one minute, okay? Now back to the one minute, Here's the one minute, all right, and this is where it's basing, all right. What do you see right here? A little volume spike right here. I'm going to back up. Might have to zoom in a little bit, but what I want to do is top this off right about there, okay, at this volume level, all right. Now, just some of the stuff I do. You see the volume here? kind of basing, nothing there, big drop there, about the same amount of volume gets it going, okay? Volume sustained here gets it going. Down the line, all right, we have another pop somewhere down here, gets it going a little bit, okay? 20 cent scalp, if you don't want it, I'll take it, but you have to be watching it here, and it's almost the same setup here as it is here, okay? So now we're down here and the 10 minute is basing, Volume pop here goes up 60, you know, almost 15, 20 cents there. This is a scalp, all right? Doing the same thing here. We have this volume pop. Let me zoom in here a little more. Volume pop here, but it doesn't fall back down. Okay, cool, all right? Not a whole lot of volume here, but this is where level two you know, this there was a seller, not a big seller, but at 43.39 or 40, that's what I was looking at. Because you see this area right here, all right? Market makers push it down, they 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 push it down again. All right, but now we have a little bit of volume coming in here, and that's, that's my key. So right at this area, and I'm watching that 40.39, and this happens so damn fast, all right? I get in with 500 when I see that 39 area getting a little thin. And when that broke, it was very thin on top of it. So it went from 40, 39, it jumped up, it jumped 20 cents in a microsecond. And then it proceeded to do this on the next bar. And 200 bucks in a few minutes get out. And this was so I was reaching for the keyboard to type this in but it had moved and made this move already and I'm, I'm not going to put this move in the room after the fact that's what we don't do in awesome calls because we're not going to get people in on a move that's already happened but i did mention that i was watching this in the room it looks interesting volume pattern you see it right here boom 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 that's it now from there you could have or i could have Held on to this a little to see if it's going to work. But the Fed, you know, the, the minutes were still being read at this point. So if it wants to continue, fine. But I have to protect what I can in the time I've got. So I made a quick almost 200 there. Other trade, I, I let people know in the room that I was taking Urban Short. I posted in the room that I'm a uh, short scalp URBN at stops at the high of day and where my entry was. But this was getting late in the day for me. I was hoping this was going to pull a lot faster. And I just, you know, I covered my commissions basically with this. But this put a nice pull in of about, what, 60 cents or so. 50 cents, you know, of course, after I get out, it makes the move. But it was it was looking toppy, and I posted that one uh, for people to take short. I don't know if anybody took it, but that's what it was. The other trade I took was off AJ's list. Uh, one of those oddball plays. This EQNR, it was, and look look how heavy the tape is right here. It's extremely heavy for the stock, and it had it was going to explore an offshore block with another oil company. Okay, and so it was up sixty cents or so. So I wanted to short five hundred. You know, I don't need this alert anymore. You know, give me half of this back. All right, give me a hundred bucks on this on the short side, uh, but it just it was hanging, and I was thinking that this was just going to tank on the open. Um, 
and it just proceeded to hang up there all day. But this tape was so damn heavy, um, it just did not want to move one way or the other. So I just I got rid of that one. Small loss there, but exploratory trade on this one. So it is what it is. But anyway, um, you know it's been it's been a good it's been a good week so far. Um, last several days have been good studying my ass off with the plays, reading into the numbers. I mean, I've got my first go-to web page is, is briefing in the morning. AJ is all over that. He's really giving a how-to about, you know, it's not just about his notes. It's, it's why these stocks are in his notes. And once you understand the why, it's, you know, you're there. Okay, so... Either way, tomorrow's Thursday. I might have a little more time tomorrow, so uh, you guys trade smart. We'll see you in the morning.